<laughs> to start from, I would like to describe like uh, different things. Uh, you can actually lose uh, voice if you hear uh, like somebody telling you something or somebody speaking in a different tone. For example, put these things down there, and you could be like. I can hear fear in this voice, I can hear like command in this voice, I can fear angry and restless. Is the attack coming towards me or is it going somewhere else? And usually when it's coming like not directly towards you, you can like calm it down. If you like, put these things down there, you can say like, mm, maybe you should move this like this. And it's kind of uh, telling the same thing that the teacher is uh, saying. If that it was a, as a help teacher, I tell it like a different vibe. Like instead of uh, angry commandment, I use like uh, providing the opportunity for the student to actually, you know, just pointing out the opportunity to him. So if he chooses, he can he can use this opportunity and instead of. Uh, uh, pressuring and empathizing on the point that. You, that they should do this exact task right now in, in this exact way that I'm pointing out. It's kind of uh, as a statement. It's like um, like I am almighty, all powerful, and I know exactly what's best for, st for this person, uh, w which in fact uh, is quite limiting of you. Because uh, if you were like, hey, look this here, this here is this uh, opportunity. And if if you want, uh, you can use it. It's kind of uh, allowing uh, the creative space for the student also. It's like uh, he can then, you know, use this opportunity if he wants. I I feel that uh, students should never feel as if uh, they are under pressure to do something. They should be like um, much more like feel uh, as if they were at home and. Uh, the only reason they should get up in the morning is if the day is uh, there's something exciting in their day or no. I remember mm, once in Tartu to I had a lot of time. I was like I had no obligations whatsoever, and in the morning uh, I I used to stay up at nights and meditate and play piano and everything. And in the morning I suddenly thought, what's the only reason why I should should I ever get up uh, from the bed? And I laid down in the bed for an hour, for two hours, until I got a sense of inspiration. Ah, this book is exciting. Maybe I should read the chapter from this book, and or, or a page. Or, or m mm, I'm really like, I want some bread from the shop. Maybe I should go to the shop. And the only reason why I got up from the bed was like, if I found something exciting to do. So, so it's like the importance of uh, being lazy, uh, you know. And then then uh, you, you are actually creating a automatic and allowing space uh, for the new thoughts to come in. If you're like, let's say I, th I would like to give you this task if you're interested in studying in this. Like, uh, give yourself three hours when you do absolutely nothing or like, um, like be with yourself, like uh, drink, drink something uh, like a I'm drinking beer, but you drink, you probably drink too much alcohol, so maybe you drink like water or, or, or not whiskey, but uh, coffee or c hot chocolate, or and you like or lie down in the bed and dream, and you just stay like this for for until you get really inspiration, and then you act on this, and otherwise you do nothing until you really want to do something. It's, it's a very good thing to do. Uh, it's kind of um, I'm attempting to smooth them down the time flow. Uh, even even in the porn videos, they're like uh, really to want to do it really fast, and uh, and this is like uh, horrible. I think we should you know give give us a lot of time and relax, and maybe take take like uh, yeah, I'm gonna complete this task in a few months or something. I mean, you really need to smooth them down. We're not in a hurry anymore. Yes, there was this. This uh, anxiety and wrestle and everything, but you, you from a space of anxiety, your solutions will not be as useful. <laughs> so it's a really good idea to first be yourselves uh, for a while.
Um, and really like a dream and uh, I wanted to tell the story also in the in the school um, I was just uh, dreaming uh, like daydreaming I sit uh, I stand at the window and look outside and encourage other dreams like they just walk by but I'm looking outside the window at them dream and later I just go to a chair and sit down and be with myself I really dream from the heart and start to see and there's this door in front of me and a really secret door and the student the teachers female teachers I don't know who they are and what this door is some they go in one goes in locks it the other comes cannot open it because it's locked and walks again then she comes out another teacher comes locks it from inside and you know it's really mysterious doors in the school and I was just sitting in the, in the armchair and watching and, and the students and until finally some little girl runs towards me and say hello hi and just like I teach him in, in May for one month and since then she's like every time she sees me she just runs towards me and hugs me and she's like uh, such a you know like a like a small daughter of a forest uh, witch or something is <laughs> so cute so so these kind of stories and uh, from from the heart the better you, you, you i get uh, we get that uh, sharing like um, also what happens is and the students started to show me pictures like what uh, oh we have these cats at home oh yeah i have these three dogs at home what are the, their names and they start to share these things and i'm just sitting and encouraging and now oh, yeah, you made this big campfire and really nice and, and then the teacher doesn't she just sees that we're together in a peaceful way and she comes and says oh it's such a good thing david that you're sitting here and um, yeah, 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 yeah. and you know we're really tuning in to the heart levels and <laughs> I think it's wonderful, and this beer is really helping me to talk.